All right, so you're considering making a move to Wesley Chapel, Florida, or you're just wondering what the heck is going on with Wesley Chapel, Florida. Well, today we are going to cover all things Wesley Chapel. Um, why are so many people moving here in a city that is, uh, you know, kind of out of the way a little bit? This is a suburb of Tampa. You know, we're in Pasco County, which is north of Tampa. We're almost 35 minutes, 40 minutes, depending on traffic of downtown Tampa. Um, but people are swarming to the Wesley Chapel area. And the question we got to answer today is why? Hey everyone, Juan Alcala here with the True Living Group at EXP Realty. And if this is your first time on the channel, we make videos that are all things Tampa Bay. What it's like to live here, what it's like to work here, what it's like to play here, the food, the dining, the outdoors, the beaches, and the sunshine. And if that interests you, be sure to hit that little subscribe button, click that bell, that way you can be notified every time we drop a video just like this. And also, hey, if you're considering making a move, relocating, or you just like to talk about the Tampa Bay area and what type of real estate investments you could you could possibly make my contact information is linked below you'll also find a link to my calendar so you can schedule a time directly with me you can call text email heck you can even dm me on instagram however you got to get hold of me when it comes to moving or relocating the tampa bay area we've got your back so you're wondering what's going on with Wesley Chapel. Well, you're not the only one. Um, over the last five years, Wesley Chapel has had a tremendous boom in population, up to about 61,000 residents as of the time of this recording. Um, right now, I'm sitting at the Prime Outlets here in Tampa, uh, the Tampa Prime Outlets, and there are hundreds of shops, and it is a beautiful outdoor setting, as you can see behind me here. Um, but if you need it, they've got it, right? You got the Nike Outlet right behind me here. There's Kate Spade, Under Armour. Heck, you can throw axes here, I think. So, I mean, when it, there is everything. This is a great outlet. Um, they've also got the Grove, which is just a few miles north, up 75, another tremendous area. And what we're gonna do today is we're gonna take you on the full vlog tour, show you all around Wesley Chapel, and, and, and show you why people are choosing to move and relocate here. Now, you know, one of the things about Wesley Chapel is it's a suburb of Tampa, right? We're roughly 35, 40 minutes north of Tampa, depending on traffic, depending on where you're at in Wesley Chapel. You can be as far as an hour, hour away. Um, you are about an hour, hour and a half to the beaches if you're gonna go to Clearwater. It's not right around the corner, but one of the things that Wesley Chapel does offer is all these great amenities, right? You've got a Costco, you've got an ice rink. Um, there's the uh, snow park. There's the, the only snow park in all of Tampa where you can literally go sledding downhill in snow. It's pretty cool. Um, like I said, the, uh, the sports complex, there is uh, the Epperson Lagoon, which is one of the largest lagoons in the country. It's seven acres. You can go paddle boarding there. We're gonna get to that today as well. But I wanted to show you guys around town and show you the reason why people are moving here. Now, Wesley Chapel has been voted one of the top five suburbs in the Tampa Bay area. If you wanna have waterfront or be on a lake here in uh, Wesley Chapel, you can do it. Um, I've seen them, you know, 800, 900,000, you know, up to, you know, a couple million if you really wanna go crazy with a custom home. But you can still make that happen at an affordable rate, not in the millions. So, um, you know, the other thing that's really attractive about Wesley Chapel, everything is newer. The school district is rated an A. It's a great school district. And again, all the amenities, all the new construction you're getting newer style homes as opposed to you know um, Hillsboro which was built in the early 1900s and then if you move out to Pinellas County by the Gulf you know you're talking about you know st. Petersburg a lot of the homes were built in the 1920s um, then you get out you know towards Clearwater you're talking about 50s 60s and 70s and now they're building homes here in Wesley Chapel that are brand new right they're still in the construction there are tons of new construction homes and we're gonna cover a ton of those today so if that interests you make sure you stick around because I'm gonna show you all things Wesley Chapel.
I'm standing in Crate today, which is part of the Grove, a huge shopping complex with a movie theater and all sorts of stuff. I'm gonna take you around here today. But Crate is a very unique development um, in all of Tampa, actually. Um, and what it is, is there's 94 shipping containers around here, and you guys can see them behind me. Really cool setup here um, between small boutique shops and restaurants. I think right now it's intended to be 70% restaurants. So think about that. Think of the, the amount of options that you have in terms of dining um, and, and experience when you come to Wesley Chapel. I love that. And this is um, a really, really cool development that I wanted to share with you guys as part of why is Wesley Chapel an up and coming area? Why are young professionals and families and retirees moving to the area? What is so attractive about Wesley Chapel? Well, where Wesley Chapel is, is it's a little bit north of Tampa. We're probably about 25 minutes north of Tampa. To get to downtown, honestly, you're talking about 45 minutes if you're living in the suburbs here. Um, but it's got so much to offer. And y'all, if you're interested in what Wesley Chapel has to offer you, we're gonna do the whole vlog tour today. So stay tuned. All right, now as you can see, there are hundreds of outdoor shops here and literally every every store that I can imagine, I have found here. Armani Exchange, Hugo Ball, Soft, Salt Life, Oakley, Nike, Kate Spade, Coach, Starbucks. I mean, there's so many y'all. And um, what I'll do is I'll, I'll put the links to the actual shopping center below so you can check those out um, at your leisure. I think that'll be super helpful so you can kind of, you know, just keep in mind what's available to you. But let me just say it this way. If it's not here, I'm shocked. And then <laughs> if it's not here, you can drive up to the Grove and find the other ones too. I've seen, you know, breweries. There's a couple really good breweries in the area. Um, few axe throwing places which I know I mentioned already but like that seems to be becoming extremely popular um, not only with uh, you know the younger generation but you know I'm 44 this year just turned 44 I had to remember um, and uh, yeah me and my wife went had a blast thought it was a great time I think it is kind of interesting um, that you're able to have alcohol and throw sharp objects but hey who's counting right <laughs> So we're here at Epperson Lagoon, which is incredible. It's a seven and a half acre uh, splash pads slash lagoon. I mean, you can do everything here. And I don't know if you can see it behind me now, but let me just do a little bit of panning. I don't want to do too much, it's so big. Um, you can do paddle boarding here. There is semi-private, um, you know, areas where you can rent out literally. Um, you've got all the cabanas here, I mean, play areas for the kids and family and everything under the sun. I mean, they've got um, an, an adventure area out in the middle there. I hope you guys can see it. I'm pointing to it right there. You've got the water slides right over here on the side here. You know, food and dining, everything is accessible to you. And this is in the uh, the Epperson Complex here where there is new construction everywhere. I hope you can see some of that um, behind me directly here. But the homes here, you know, 
They start in the high 200s and work their way up into the, the high 700s. And um, man, they're turning quick. And if you are looking for a new construction home and you want to be surrounded by these type of amenities, this is another reason why Wesley Chapel is just absolutely booming, right? Great schools, world-class amenities. There's no place like this in the state. Um, and you know, they're saying that this is one and only in the country um, and of course a little bit of marketing there but let's be honest with you guys how many of you have a seven and a half acre <laughs> private lagoon and if you're a member of the community here you have access to this this is included um, in your development uh, your, your CDD fees um, which we'll get to at a different time here but you know you're talking about a community development district where you pay an additional um, fee on top of your HOA to have access to amenities like this in the community you can also use other pools in other um, neighborhoods. Uh, you have access to those as well. You know, in the park systems, it pays for all those systems. There's a lot of things that come with the CDD. It's kind of one of those controversial things because it's above and beyond HOAs typically. And, and most people don't even like paying HOA fees, but you know, you get what you pay for at the end of the day. When you look at a community that's as beautiful as this, built out as well as this, I mean, the streets are clean. There's scenic parks. There are uh, trails all over the place. Um, I'm gonna spin you guys around here a little bit right now so you can kind of see what else is going on here. But this entire, I mean, there are hundreds of acres here being developed. It is absolutely stunning. Um, and again, you know, convenient. We're probably 12 minutes away from I-75. Um, so again, like we were talking about earlier, if you were to live here to downtown Tampa, you know, during high traffic, you're talking 45, 50 minutes for sure. Um, on, a, on good traffic like it is right now, I can be downtown 35, 40 minutes, no problem whatsoever. Um, but again, great, clean community, fantastic schools. Their price points are still really affordable. And I know that's kind of an issue as well right now. You know, home affordability has just been a challenge everywhere in the country. And um, Wesley Chapel is no different. You know, 30% year over year growth, I think it was 30.9. So they're just shy of 31%. Still projected to have another banner year. I mean, you can hear the cranes and um, they're building all behind us, all around us right now. But this community is just gorgeous. There's water all over the place. They got these old cypress trees. I'm hoping you guys can see some of those behind me here. Um, the beautiful cypress trees you got old growth oak trees out here and of course the palms that they put in as well um, but the community is just booming it's a wonderful place to come and and have a peace of mind right um, lots of families lots of young professionals again there's retiree communities in the area here at wesley chapel as well but just an absolutely stunning community i'm happy to share it with you guys i was hoping to get the drone up today but as you can see i mean if you look at these leaves we ain't flying today it's just way too windy but you know who else doesn't love a good 65 degree or 70 degree day with a little bit of a breeze man it's perfect that's why y'all want to come to florida anyways it's about the lifestyle and if this isn't lifestyle i don't know what is So I'm here at the Wesley Chapel District Park and this place is enormous y'all and if I could give you some perspective um, it's got to be 50 acres plus and it's huge. Um, kids playground right behind me you can see me there you actually got a roller rink um, roller hockey rink over there which is fantastic. Um, there are football, tennis, um, uh, obviously roller hockey, uh, soccer, baseball. There's four to six baseball diamonds at the other end down, down there. Um, anything and everything you could think of is here at this sport complex, which is great. It's not too far away from I-75, makes it super convenient. Um, lots of room to run around. There are picnic, um, there are hiking trails here as well. So if you want to get out, Florida's pretty flat, y'all, just for the most part, when I say hiking, we're not talking about <laughs> climbing mountains. We're talking about some small hills like the one I'm climbing now, but they, they are available. And when we talk about lifestyle and getting outdoors, this is a great place to do it. It's not crazy busy, as you can see. I mean, look, 
you know we're at three o'clock in the afternoon here and there's hardly anybody at this park so you know if you're worried about things being overcrowded and super busy because of the fact that this place is growing like crazy um, what I think you'll see right now is that that's just not true when you have as much available space and as much land as there is available here in Wesley Chapel you can see that you know there's plenty of room to run so to speak so I wouldn't want you to be concerned about that I wouldn't want you to be nervous about it Wesley Chapel has a ton to offer and you will not be disappointed all right, so here we are. We are in the Epperson community here, and these are the homes that are being built by Moronda right now. Um, and these houses here, you know, we're talking 1,800 to 2,600 square feet, roughly. Um, and the price ranges are, you know, they, they're quoting the high twos, but let's be honest, the, the prices here are starting, you know, mid threes at best, um, depending on what amenities you add to the property. Um, and they're going up from there. Like I said, it's really going to be that three to 800,000 range. You know, again, if you look at the sign, it's going to say high twos, the 700s. But by the time you put, you know, the amenities that you want on the home, you're typically adding, you know, on average, we see about 12%. And that, that's almost in line with the national average in terms of, you know, additions or add-ons or what are the things you want to add to the house because a lot of the times the builder specs are pretty basic, but there are custom builders here in this community as well. So that's a thing to take note of. So if you're thinking of, of making that move to Wesley Chapel and you want a new ho a house and you want to be in a newer community and you're okay with, you know, having homes as close as they are here, this is a great location for you, right? They're really well kept. School districts are incredible. Um, the community is clean. Um, it's a great place to, to you know, again, to, to raise a family, to, you know, to come, to enjoy the amenities. I mean, there are walking trails, there are parks, there's biking trails. It is incredible. So for that type of living, if that's what you're interested in for, you know, that's why you're looking at Wesley Chapel to begin with, right? So, you know, if you're looking for a more expansive, you know, opportunity for a couple acres, those are here as well. You know, the main road leading up this street here from 275, on the right side of it you know the east side of the road you know there are literally farms and cows out there and um, you know that's it, that's going to change into the future I mean with with adding another 20 30 40 thousand people which is their hope here in Wesley Chapel you know those things are going to change in the future but that means that there's still opportunities so if you're interested in getting a you know a more private uh, you know residents then you still have the ability to do that here in Wesley Chapel so yeah these houses are fantastic though you know again clean great construction they're all block they're gonna hold up you know you don't have to deal with you know the, the early 1900 constructions that may or may not have done been done uh, redone you know when you're thinking about buying a Hillsboro or Tampa it's so one thing I always tell people you buy in a 19 home that was built in the early 1900s you got to deal with the construction standards back in the day and if anybody has done the job well hired professionals to do it throughout time on the renovations those are a lot of unknowns but there's a lot of value in those too so it's just kind of what are you looking for you know if you're looking to live by the beaches Wesley Chapel's not for you but if you're you know you're looking for newer great amenities um, you know uh, more of the uh, uh, suburban type living where you you know you get a lot of neighborhoods then this is a great option and I would strongly encourage you to take it up check out Wesley Chapel and if you'd like any of the other areas toured in the Tampa Bay area please feel free to put that comment down below I'd love to answer it for you we're out here doing city tours all the time suburb tours and we're happy to do that for you all and uh, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that little bell that way you can be notified every time we drop a new video just like this and it will also help other people just like you who are considering making that move relocating or maybe hey you're just considering selling in the Tampa Bay area and hey, however you got to get hold of us, whether it's phone call, email, text messages, um, you can even DM me on Instagram. I also put my calendar down below so you can schedule a time that works best for you. But when it comes to making that move to the Tampa Bay area, I want you to know that Juan and his team here at the True Living Group, we've got your back, y'all, and we look forward to it. And until next time, go out and live that Tampa life.